you know, yeah. we, we, a we lot get. of you guys are here to learn how to make money because you're really afraid because mm -hmm. you're afraid and it's OK. I'm afraid. Yes. And by I'm the way, afraid. what God, right? And what God wants isn't for us to overcome our fear, by the way. What God wants is for us to be honest with our fear, right? Because we see this in Peter, right? So one of my favorite scriptures in one of the passages in scripture is when when Jesus re reinstates Peter. They're having breakfast, right? The, the fishermen are fishing and, you know, they see Jesus and it's the Lord. And Peter jumps out of the boat and, they're, you know, Jesus is barbecuing fish. Right. Like as they actually he says, hey, bring some of the fish you caught. Right. So he's got a bonfire going and Jesus goes, Peter, do you truly love me more than these? And Peter goes, of course, I love you. Right. But I love that scripture because all the way up in that point, Peter was this guy who puffed up his chest and was like, oh, Jesus, I love you. I will die for you. I will go to the ends for you. I will do all these things like like right. Peter's all talk yeah, yeah, yeah. right up until this point. Peter's all talk. And Jesus finally puts him to, like, hey, the reality is before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. That's the reality. And Peter's like, I would never do that. Right. And then he does. And then for, and while Jesus is dead, Peter's like it, living in this super shame mode, like his fears have been proven true. And his fear is that he is a fraud. Right. And so he, his fear has come to reality. And, and then finally, when Peter goes, uh, hey, Jesus, like and because Jesus is like, hey, do you love me? Like and, and, you know, Jesus says agape love. He asks Peter, hey, do you love me? Agape love. And agape, by the way, is Greek for the highest form of love. Right. It's like, hey, Peter, do you truly? And then uh, uh, but, and I don't I hate that the Bible doesn't mention this. Right. But Peter responds and Jesus, of course, I love you. Phileo love. Phileo is brotherly love. It's actually like two steps below agape. Right. Because Greeks have different levels of words for love. Like in American in, in, in English, it's love is love. Right. But in Greek, it's, it's you have agape, then you have uh, uh, phileo and you have like all these other different forms of love. So Peter goes, Jesus, you know, I love you. But he responds in a different in a lower level of love. Right. A lower level. And so Jesus goes, thank you for actually being honest. Thank you for being truthful about what you actually feel and who you actually are. And because of your truthfulness, you are the rock in which I will build my church. So when Peter responds in, when he truth tells, when he confesses about his fears to Jesus, Jesus then elevates him because he is now humble, uh -huh. right? He elevates him and gives him position and authority and influence by being the rock of the biggest organization the world has seen, which is the Christian church which is the movement that Jesus came to start. He names Peter as the captain of that team because of his truthfulness. So there's power and we're all afraid, right? We established that we are afraid, right? So what would it look like? How much power is there in being truthful to the Lord on what we're actually afraid of? Like, that's the point I'm trying to drive home, right? So when I got married, I said, right, God, I am afraid. I am afraid because I'm afraid of being the type of husband that I saw a lot of other people being, which is not listening, exercising my authority, being abused, right? All these things. I am afraid. What do you want? And going back to the obedience, right? Listening and responding. What do you want me to know? And what do you want me to do when it comes to being a great husband? And what the Lord told me was give away to your wife what I give to you, which is unconditional, unshakable love every single day. You receive it first then you give it to your wife because it is a fact that as human beings, we cannot give away what we ourselves do not have. Right. And we naturally give away what we have. So if we are fear driven people, we will give away fear. That is just the way that we humans operate. So for, for me as a husband, like, Hey, like help me receive your love. Lord. Now that's the next question. Help me receive your love. What do you want me to know about my inability to receive love from you, God? And please help me disperse it away, give it away to my wife, give it away to the people out of the overflow that is me, right? So that's the way and we can, by the way, we can think of that way with money, right? We can all go right now after this live stream is over, we can ask, hey God, what do you want me to know? What are the lies that I believe about money? What are the lies that I believe about myself and money? And what do you want me to know? And what do you want me to do when it comes to money? And here's a great litmus test. And I'll, end, I'll end my ramble here, right? But here's a great litmus test. And this is this is a litmus test that my, my friend Jamie Winship 
which I think everybody here should go listen to his podcast, read, a, read his books. A lot of what I'm talking about actually originated from Jamie's writings. But one of the things that Jamie convicted me of is here's a litmus test uh, to see if you're wanting to build your own empire or contribute to the kingdom. Uh, if, if God asked you to write a check for the opposite political party you believe in, would you actually do it? Would you actually do it? Right? So, so for me, like I'm a conservative Republican. If God asked me to write a 15 or a $50,000 check to the Biden administration, right? Would I do it? Because if I don't, it actually means I contribute and I care more about my own agenda than I do uh, the actual kingdom of God and actually obeying the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right. And, and by the way, that's what that's where most Christians live. Most Christians live in a place where they care more about their agenda on earth than actually what God tells them to do. Right. And, and money, money is a true reflectant of that. And until we can sort that mess out, it does not matter what we learn real estate wise. It doesn't matter what we learn stocks or velocity, whatever. It, it does not matter. You are adding more and more garbage. Uh, to or you're adding more and more weight on a foundation that is not right. That exactly. that is a fact.